Hello, uh, my name is Matthew Randall, and in this tutorial, what I want to do is uh, unfold um, this chair. So basically, what I'm going to do is take this mesh, and this is a single object that we've got here, separate it into different components, easy uh, components that are very easy to, to unfold. And essentially, what I'm going to do is project each component, put some cuts in to allow the unfold, and then perform the unfold. And I'm going to repeat those three steps for each of the components, um, um, uh, or, or sub-components, if you like, of this chair. So the first component I'm going to work on is the base. Um, so I'm going to select the faces that make that base up. Here we go. I think that's all the elements selected. I do need to select the bottom as well. Excellent. And what I like to do is I often like to check my selections just by moving it. Okay, so if I go like this, yeah, I can see that that's correct. So I'm just checking my selection just by moving it. Okay. Um, Okay, um, and obviously I've got a bit selected I don't want selected or a bit unselected. I'll, I'll obviously see that when I when I move the geometry. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to go into my UV editor. So uh, I've got my UV editor up here. Um, for you to bring up this UV editor, just simply go into panels in your view here, in one of your uh, uh, views. Uh, go panels and uh, go to the panel and go to UV editor, this bottom option here, to select the UV editor. Okay, in fact, I'll, just, I'll just click it anyway. There you go. Okay, and that'll select the UV editor. Um, so what I want to do is, um, in fact, we don't quite need to look at this straight away, but I'll, 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 I'll do it anyway, because this is currently what we have in our view. Um, so what I want to do is project this, um, these faces that we've selected in the Y-axis. So the Y-axis, which is kind of looking down in this action, uh, direction, is probably providing the best kind of... Um, uh, view, if you will, or, 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 or shape of this geometry that we're working with. So I'm just going to go um, uh, UV, uh, planar, so select options. I'm going to make sure the Y axis is selected because that's the direction that I want to project from. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go keep image height ratio. All that does is it makes sure that the um, uh, the result that we that we get in our UV map is optimized to uh, replicate the proportions of the surface that we're unfolding as opposed to making the best use of the actual UV space. Okay, so uh, that's the option that I want. So just make sure that's selected because I think that isn't selected by default. Okay, so I'm just going to go apply. Uh, and you'll see that we have projected this seat now from this angle. Uh, I'm just going to move this over to here. Great. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to um, I'm going to then insert some cuts into our chair. So I'm just going to close this down. And uh, if I have a look at this chair now, um, what I want to do is I, I want to unfold, uh, effectively kind of unfold this bottom the bottom of this chair out to make it kind of a flat surface. And um, in order to unfold it, I'm going to have to cut it along three of these edges. OK, I can leave one edge connected, but I've got to cut it along three of those edges. So one of the things I'm thinking about is obviously I'm going to go for the bottom because I want where I cut it, I want to cut it in a place that's going to be the least visible. So the bottom would be a good candidate for that. And I'm probably just going to, and the, the one that I'll leave connected, as it were, is the front one. So I'm going to go to edges and cut these edges here, okay, and leave this one connected. So it'll unfold around this edge. Then what I need is um, for this to work, I need to uh, select each of the corners of the base here as well because these need to actually um, these are going to have to disconnect as well okay and they're going to need cuts here in order for it to unfold as well I will have to use the x-ray just to select this bit here here we go excellent okay um, so that's our edges selected now what I'm going to do is go back into our UV editor and then just simply select uh, cut OK, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole UV shell again that we've created. So that's this UV shell. And then what I'm going to do is do an unfold. So we've done our projection. We've done our cut. Now we're going to do our unfold. So just go into modify, unfold. I'm just going to click on the options here. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the Unfold 3D. Um, that's the kind of the most recent Unfold algorithm that comes with uh, Maya. Now, I haven't really read too much into depth how these different algorithms work, okay? But uh, one of the things I have found is that with this Unfold 3D, it does pick up um, issues that you might have with your geometry. So if you've got some, say, uh, non-manifold geometry uh, or luminar faces or something like that, um, it might, it should pick that up. In fact, here we are, we've got the option and it will fix any kind of non-manifold geometry. So some little errors, it might, it will fix it for you uh, as you go along, which is kind of helpful um, if you've got those sort of issues. I mean, ideally they shouldn't be there, but um, and that, that's kind of helpful. Um, so it, it does provide some help like that. Um, the what I find is if this doesn't work, then the legacy one does give you more controls over it. So, for example, you can unfold vertically and horizontally separately, and you can kind of specify which pins are held down, uh, uh, are moved, and which which UVs are moved and which UVs um, aren't moved, etc. Um, so it gives you a little bit more control, and you can kind of weight the solver towards different settings as well. Um, so I'm going to go with the Unfold 3D, okay, uh, and I'm just going to go and click Apply, okay. There we are, and we've got ourselves an Unfold there, which we are happy with. So now what I want to do is I want to do the same process of this Project, Cut and Unfold on all the other elements of the chair. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and do this chair leg here. So uh, I'm going to select the elements that make this chair leg. I'm just going to turn the uh, x-ray shading off because I don't need that. And I think to do my selection, what I'm going to do is I want to select faces again. Um, uh, I want to select faces again, but this time uh, what I want to do is select, uh, I'm going to use the paint tool to do the selection as well. Uh, let's have a look. So we use this paint tool, and hopefully, yes, here we go. I'm just going to go and paint this leg here and do a selection on this leg here. Uh, we have got other surfaces selected still, so actually, I'll, what I might want to do is uh, just deselect those. I might just go and click, yeah, use, just use the select tool to, to deselect them and then go back to the paint tool again. Okay, hopefully, this time we will get the results that we want. And I don't need to hold shift down or anything while I'm using this paint tool. Uh, I'm literally just clicking on them. And, it, and as I use the paint tool, it selects them for me. If I want to unselect using the paint tool, I can double click on here. And uh, I get more options. And one of those is to turn it into an unselect. Uh, in fact, I'll just keep that to the side here just in case I need to use that. Uh, and I will continue painting the, the, the faces that I need to select. Here we go. Sure. And then just make sure the top is selected as well. And obviously what I want to do is make sure that my selection is correct. So what I'm going to do is just use the move tool just to move that, just to check that that is correct. Excellent. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, now I've got that selection in place. I'm going to do my projection, my cut and my, um, uh, sorry, and my unfold. Okay. So um, this time I'm going to project it from the, uh, 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 the Z axis. Uh, yeah, I'm going to project from the z-axis. Uh, so I'm just going to go UV, uh, planar project, here we go. This time I'm going to just select the z-axis and then click apply. Again, you'll see that in the UV editor here. So just move that shell, there it is. And uh, this time I need to go and put my uh, cuts in. So here we're going to do... Um, so here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut down one of these edges. I'm thinking like the inside. Uh, so I'm going to cut one of these edges here. OK, and there's no face at the bottom. OK, so it's worth sort of looking at the geometry in detail, checking that we understand it. So uh, I'm going to cut along this edge here and then just unfold it, um, uh, unfold it around this way. OK, so I'm going to cut one edge here and then four edges along the top here, uh, all four edges along the top here, and that should cut them up. Uh, in fact, do I need to do all four? Uh, I think I can just do... Uh, I can think I'll get away with actually cutting three of them. Let's try that. So I'm going to go uh, edge, select all four of these edges. Here we go. And I'm going to go and cut. So I'm thinking if I just cut these three, that should do it. Let's see how that looks. 
Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go modify uh, cut. And now let's select the shell. Here we are, I'm going to select the shell and we're going to go modify and we'll just click unfold. Okay, uh, and that's given us, yeah, that's great. So it's given us the, the chair leg and you can see the top of the chair, this top bit here uh, is over here as well. Okay, excellent. So basically, I'm going to repeat this process uh, for the um, uh, for the other legs here, okay? Um, uh, yeah, so I will pause the video rather than you watch uh, all of that. Uh, and uh, 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 yeah, and we'll come back. Okay, so um, I've now unfolded uh, each of the four legs. Uh, we can see that here, okay? Um, what I did find is that when it came to the front legs, uh, again, not sure why, and this is just one of these things that I, you experience. Um, under the unfold 3D method, it didn't seem to work. Uh, now, maybe I could have twiddled with these and kind of check things out a little bit more detail, uh, but there seems to be an issue. When I used the legacy method, and I didn't really click any of the other, I didn't click any of the op other options. I just simply switched it to legacy method. I got unfolds that I was happy with. So again, sometimes you just got to experiment and uh, move between the two uh, solvers, uh, depending on what works and what doesn't work. Uh, okay, now what I'm gonna do is do the same process uh, for these uh, three slats at the back here and the side slat uh, uh, along here as well. Again, uh, I'm gonna try the unfold 3D uh, and if I need to, I'll go back and use the legacy if I need to. So I'm just gonna pause while I do that. And obviously what I'm gonna have to do is uh, project these the one thing that I am doing is again projecting and um, cutting and unfolding these uh, surfaces but I'm projecting these surfaces uh, from the x-axis and then I'm going to project these surfaces from the z-axis so basically I'm project projecting it from the surface that is perpendicular to the object okay and hopefully one of the things you're picking up here is that actually you know we, we can help ourselves a lot by just orientating the object correctly um, to help us do our unfold okay so uh, now what I've got is I've got all my uh, parts of my chair unfolded so that's the four legs uh, these three struts at the back the two struts at the bottom here and the base um, so that's uh, a total of I think ten components uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, components so now what I want to do is uh, in order for, to create a UV map uh, I want to have all these elements laid out into this one UV space here uh, so what I want to do is move these shells I can select these shells and I can move them rotate them scale them to lay them out into this the, into this space probably the first thing I want to kind of take care of is just making sure that all the elements uh, are of a relatively similar size so that we've got a consistent kind of uh, textile uh, resolution uh, going on and I'm happy with most of the bits but you'll see that if I select I'm just going to select the the chair slats here and um, you'll see that uh, this slat is this size uh, this slat is a similar size but for whatever reason this one came out really really small so obviously I want to kind of scale that up before I do anything just kind of correct that um, really I think if I was doing this properly I'd want to kind of get in there and find out what was causing this um, uh, but it wasn't immediately clear to me so uh, I'm going to leave it and just fix it this way, okay? But really what we're looking for is for them to have a similar uh, textile resolution. Uh, I think uh, we've got a similar problem here as well. So again, I'm just going to go and scale that up. Uh, I think we'll get away with it not being 100% accurate. Here we go. Excellent. Okay, so I think I'm kind of happy with that. I think the only thing I would say is that the uh, chair legs, these chair legs here, uh, if you think about the sort of size that they are, seem a bit small. So I would be tempted to scale these up as well. Um, so um, just so that they're kind of, you know, I'm expecting to be double the length of this really, or double the length of these, and they're not at the moment. So something like that. OK, so hopefully now everything's got a kind of similar uh, 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 textual uh, resolution to it. OK, um, I think this might be a little bit bigger, something like that. But I, I'm quite happy with that now. OK, so now in order to make this sort of work, then what we need to do is we need to uh, reduce the size of all of these shells in this scene here. 
Um, so if I just go and select them all, uh, I want to reduce them to a sort of size where I'm going to be able to fit them into this space here. And obviously what I'm trying to do is make the optimal use of that space, uh, that image space there. So I don't want to leave too much in the way of blank spaces around it either. So I don't want to make it ridiculously small. Uh, I'm going to try this for size, okay? Uh, so I'm going to rotate this into a, a, a plane that's going to make things a little bit easier for us. Okay. Uh, sorry, just move that. Move that to there. Uh, and then I've got my two... That's my two front chair legs. Again, I can rotate those. Rotate those. Okay. Uh, let's grab these three elements here and then move. Hang on, sorry. We're not rotating, are we? We're going to move. Move those elements there. Here we are. Okay, and let's see, I might struggle to fit these in actually, let's have a look. Uh, so I'm going to try and rotate that along here. Oh, control Z. So I might have to just make things a little bit smaller to fit everything in. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think I'll have to just make things a little bit smaller. So I could be really clever about how I do this, um, which I don't think I'm going to be able to. So again, I'm just going to select everything. Just scale it all down a little bit. And then hopefully that will now give me enough room to fit everything I want into this scene. So I'm thinking if I, if I select these elements here and move... Sorry, let's try that again. Select all these elements, move them to here. Move that to here. I'm hoping I can move these a little bit closer there. And then hopefully that will allow me to kind of squeeze this in. Ooh, sorry. My bad. I didn't want to rotate there. Okay. To squeeze this into here. Yeah. And then I can squeeze that one into there. And then I can squeeze. I move this one up. Should I squeeze that one into there. Now I'm sure I could lay this out in a slightly better manner, but that that'll do for the moment. Um, and so that is my chair UV um, unfolded. Okay.